Hello guys, today we will look at how to add authentication to your Next.js project using AWS Cognito. Authentication is a key part of many web applications. It's how a system checks if the user is who they say they are. There are many options available for Next.js authentication, but what are the benefits of using Cognito? Personal identifiable information security. AWS takes all the responsibility of you, the developer, to ensure a user's personal information is properly protected and passwords are securely stored. Auth integration. No need to write your own code to manage user sessions and authentication tokens. AWS set of APIs allows you to simply issue calls to Cognito to validate tokens or get new ones. Integration with alternative identity providers. From Facebook to Google and even SAML, Cognito gives you the ability to add additional signing options for your users relatively easily. Quick startup. Simply set up your Cognito user pool, hook into the APIs, and you're off and running. This is a huge benefit when you want to prototype an application or want to be able to focus on providing functionality in your application. We are going to use Amplify library to hook into Cognito's APIs. So in this first lesson, we will look at how to set up Cognito user pool on AWS Cloud and how to configure Amplify library in the Next.js project. I am in Next.js Cognito auth project in branch one Amplify setup start. The final result of this lesson is in one Amplify setup end branch. If you would like to follow along, please clone this repo. The link to the repo is in the description. Let's look at the diagram of how we are going to use AWS Cognito with Next.js. Here we have Next.js application that has front-end and a back-end. Front-end runs in a user browser and back-end runs on a server. AWS Amplify library runs on a front-end and communicates to Cognito user pool to sign up, log in, log out, user, and do some other actions. AWS Amplify library also sets cookies in user's browser to persist the state. Then those cookies are passed to the backend where Amplify library gets authenticated user from those cookies. And this authenticated user can be used in middleware or handlers. Now that you know how the authentication will work, Let's go ahead and configure Cognito user pool and set up Amplify library. I am in AWS console in Amazon Cognito. So let's go ahead and click on create user pool. In Cognito user pool sign in options, we're going to select email. So and be careful, Cognito user pool sign in options can be changed after user pool has been created. So when you are creating user pool, think ahead, because if you decide to change, sign in options, right? To add a new one, like phone number, you will technically have to create a completely new user pool. And then you will have to kind of migrate your users from the old user pool into a new user pool. Let's go ahead and click next. For the password policy, we're going to be using Cognito defaults. Uh, for MFA, we're going to select no MFA. And for user account recovery, we're going to keep email only. In the Configure sign up experience, we will keep self registration on. We will allow Cognito to automatically send messages to verify and confirm. We're going to be using email message to verify email address. And we're going to keep original attribute value active when an update is pending. So, and active attributes values when an update is pending will be an email address. In the required attributes, we are going to go ahead and select name but you can select some other options if your application requires it. Again, note that required attributes can be changed once this user pool has been created. Again, if you think you will need some other required attribute, just go ahead and create it and you can put just default value right in the beginning. And then later on, when you decide to roll out that required attribute, you can just uh, use user input. You can also create your own custom attribute. Custom attributes will be prepended with a custom and column to your attribute name. Let's say if you would like to create an attribute, say type, right? It's going to be custom column type, but we're not going to create any custom attributes. Let's go ahead and remove it and click next. 
In configure message delivery, we're going to select send email with Cognito. However, if you going to roll out to production, you'll need to select email with Amazon says, and this can be changed later. What you do, you develop against, uh, you know, send email with Cognito, and then later on you uh, choose email with Amazon says, and then you'll have to do some more configuration. You'll have to configure says as well, and says stands for simple email service, right? So you can go through this stuff when you roll out your application into production. But for now, like I said, we're going to select send email with Cognito. We keep the default and click next. Finally, we're going to choose name for our Cognito user pool. We're going to call it next JS auth tutorial. We are not going to be using hosted UI. Um, we're going to be hosting user interface to sign in, sign up and log out ourselves. We also need to configure app client. This app client will be communicating with a Cognito user pool and we can call it next uh, JS app client. We're not going to generate secret, right? So there are some advanced client settings. And here we need to be sure that allow user SRP auth is selected. And SRP stands for secure remote password protocol. And this protocol is used by default by uh, AWS Amplify library. There are some other flows here and you can select them. And in order to use them, you will have to um, specify this flow in your library when you, for example, signing up user. But we're going to leave uh, the flows as is. Another section is attribute read and write permissions, right? And when you configure that by default, you're going to have your read and write permissions on all these attributes. And we can see that name, we have read and write permissions. Also, when you create custom attributes by default, right, it's going to be right here. And if you want it to have it writable, make sure you select it, uh, write permissions for that attribute. We're not going to add any tags and just click next. So let's go ahead and review real quick. Everything looks good. And let's go ahead and click create user pool. Now let's go ahead and configure Amplify library in our Next.js project. So we're going to be installing AWS Amplify and at AWS Amplify adapter for Next.js. This adapter will be used to run Amplify library on the server side. All right, Amplify libraries are installed. Let's go ahead and create Amplify Cognito uh, configuration file. So we're going to go into the SRC folder, app folder, and then we're going to create a file called amplify cognito config.cs. Let's hit enter. And in this file, we're going to put the following code. We're going to have use client directive because we're going to be configuring app amplify on the client side, right? So we're going to import amplify and type resource config. And then we're going to create a config uh, for cognito authentication. So we're going to put Cognito and user pool ID, which we will put in the env variables, next public user pool ID, and then user pool client, we're going to put in the next public user pool client ID. Next, we're going to call amplify configure and pass the config we created. And also, we need to be sure that we put SSR true, server side rendering true. This will make amplify use cookies for state storage, because by default, amplify use local storage for your state storage. Finally, we're going to export default function, configure amplify client side, and we're going to return null because this component won't have any UI. We want to configure amplify library on the client as early as possible. So we're going to go into the root layout right over here. And instead of this body right here, we're going to paste the following code. We're going to insert the configure amplify client side component right over here and we need to import it as well we're going to import it from uh, app amplify cognito config next we need to configure amplify library to run on the server side so let's go ahead and in the src folder we're going to create a new folder called utils and in this folder 
we're going to create a new file and this file will be called amplify server utils.cs let's go ahead and put the following code in here we're going to be importing auto config from uh, amplify cognito config and we are going to import create server runner from aws amplify adapter next js and what we're interested in is actually running with amplify server context so we're going to export this and we're going to be creating server runner with the config that we just created finally let's define environment variables so in the root of our project let's create a new file called dot env dot example and in this file we're going to put the following we're going to have next public user pool id and next public user pool client id since we're going to be using these variables on the front end and back end actually too so we're going to prefix it with a next public so now let's create also dot env file where we're going to put the same variables but now we're going to assign the value to them and before that doing that let's go into git ignore because by default next doesn't um, put that env file in a git ignore um, it you know it uses that env that local or that production you can use those env files i just prefer to use that env file so let me go ahead and put it in um, the git ignore save all the changes now let's switch again into that env file and let's go ahead and grab those env variables so first we will need the pool id so let's go to aws console we're gonna click on our created user pool and then user pool id will be right here let's go ahead copy this we'll go back to our next js project and we paste it right here now let's go ahead and grab the pool client id to get that value we're gonna click on app integration and we're gonna scroll all the way down where we have app clients and we have the app client that we created when we set up the user pool and right here we have client id let's go ahead and copy that let's go back to the project and we can paste it in right over here and we're all set so we configured cognito user pool on aws cloud and when configuring the pool you know be careful plan ahead because certain parameters or values you won't be able to change then we also set up amplify library in next.js project and in next.js project you need to set up front end and you also need to set server utils to use amplify library on the back end that's it for this lesson thank you for watching and i will see you in the next lesson where we will look at how to do sign up sign in and sign out using cognito authentication